Multiplying complex numbers in polar form is quite easy. Learn how to do it here in Mathematics of Engineering. Complex number in polar form has the expression with r times the quantity of cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta. r is the modulus or the absolute value, and theta is the argument. In multiplication of complex numbers in polar form, all we gotta do is to multiply the moduli, and then add the arguments. The first example requires the product of Z1 and Z2, given Z1 as 4 times cosine of 80 degrees plus I sine of 80 degrees. Z2 is 3 times cosine of 35 degrees plus I sine of 35 degrees. From the first complex number, the modulus is 4, and the argument is 80 degrees. The second complex number has R of 3, and theta of 35 degrees. What we only need to do is to multiply the moduli, that is 4 times 3, giving 12. We also need to add the arguments, 80 and 35, resulting to 115 degrees, after which place them into the polar form of the resultant complex number, which is 12 times cosine of 115 degrees, plus I sine of 115 degrees. The second example requires the product of two complex numbers 2, CIS 115 degrees, and 5, CIS 70 degrees. CIS is short for cosine I sine, which eventually shortens the complex number. Thus, the first complex number is translated as 2 cosine 115 degrees plus I sine of 115 degrees, where R is 2 and theta is 115 degrees. The second complex number is translated as 5 times cosine of 70 degrees plus I sine of 70 degrees, where the modulus is 5 and the argument is 70 degrees. Work on the product of R, which is 2 times 5, giving 10. The arguments are also added as 115 plus 70 degrees, giving 185 degrees. Thus, Z1 times Z2 in polar form is 10 times cosine of 185 degrees plus I sine of 185 degrees. Next is to look for the product Z1 and Z2 with the first complex number as root of 2 times cosine of a quarter of pi plus i times sine of pi over 4. Z2 is 2 root of 2 times cosine of 3 pi over 8 plus i sine of 3 pi over 8. From Z1, r is root of 2 and theta is pi over 4. From Z2, the modulus is 2 root of 2, and theta is 3 pi over 8. R is the product of R1 and R2, that's root of 2 times 2 root of 2, which gives 4. Theta is then theta 1 plus theta 2, that is pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 8. Having different denominators, work on LCD to add the fractions, so pi over 4 can then be converted into 2 pi over 8. So 2 pi plus 3 pi over 8 is 5 pi over 8. So the product is 4 times cosine of 5 pi over 8 plus i times sine of 5 pi over 8. The other example has the CIS format where Z1 is equal to 3 times CIS of pi over 6. 
Z2 is equal to 2 root of 3 times CIS of pi over 8. Z1 is then translated as 3 times cosine of pi over 6 plus I sine of pi over 6, where R is 3 and theta is pi over 6. Z2 is equal to 2 root of 3 times cosine of pi over 8 plus I sine of pi over 8. So the modulus is 2 root of 3 and the argument is pi over 8. The resulting R is then 3 times 2 root of 3, which is 6 root of 3. Theta is pi over 6 plus pi over 8. Take the least common denominator and convert pi over 6 as 4 pi over 24, and pi over 8 as 3 pi over 24, added together as 7 pi over 24. The resulting complex number in polar form is then 6 root of 3 times cosine of 7 pi over 24 plus i sine of 7 pi over 24. The same procedure is followed in the next example of finding the product z1 times z2 where z1 is 4 times cosine of 5 pi over 6 plus i sine of 5 pi over 6 and z2 is 3 times cosine of pi over 3 plus i sine of pi over 3. z1 has r of 4 and theta of 5 pi over 6. Z2 contains an absolute value of 3 and an argument of pi over 3. R is then 4 times 3, which is 12. And theta is 5 pi over 6 plus pi over 3. Where with LCD, the second argument is converted into 2 pi over 6. So the resulting theta is 5 pi plus 2 pi, making 7 pi over 6. Therefore, the resulting complex number is 12 CIS 7 pi over 6. With Z1 is 7 times cosine of a quarter of pi plus I sine of pi over 4, and Z2 is 3 root of 3 times cosine of pi over 8 plus I sine of pi over 8, we take the product by first identifying the parts. From the first complex number, the absolute value r is 7, and the argument is a quarter of pi. From the second complex number, r is root of 3 times 3, and theta is pi over 8. Multiply the moduli and get 7 times 3 root of 3, giving 21 root of 3. Theta is pi over 4 plus pi over 8. Take the LCD and transform the first argument into 2 pi over 8. Add them and have 3 pi over 8. So the resulting polar form is 21 root of 3 times cosine of 3 pi over 8 plus i sine of 3 pi over 8.